Hey guys, this is Hydraulic 160, and I got a very, very rare smoke alarm today. I got it from eBay, and it's pretty rare. And I'm on with one guest to witness this magical beauty with me. Hello. It's none other than Jaden Nelson. I tried um, unboxing it with anybody else. Um, nope, nobody was available, so... Um, it's just me and him today. So, what is so special, you might ask? It is this first gen, first generation Nighthawk. Kitta Nighthawk Carbon Monoxide Alarm. Model KNCO P PP3. KNCO PP3. As you can see, this is unlike any other CO PP3. It has a blue piezo horn as well as the Nighthawk labeling at the top. Because, nor yeah. because normally, um, if you look on uh, Jaden's um, eBay page, you'll see that he's selling a PP3, and it doesn't look like this. It has the Kittle logo at the top and a black piezo horn. Yep. This is one of the very first ones ever made. As you can see on the back, it says... The date code of 1997. So this is guaranteed to do continuous. And yep. it even came with the original box, as you can see. Kitta Nighthawk Carbon well, Monoxide. Clamshell packaging, annoying a little bit. No, these ones are actually easy to get open. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. Yeah, Premium Plus. This was listed as Premium Plus back then because of the digital display. Danger, dis nice. danger level display, uh, peak level, 85 decibel alarm, and battery backup. Um, these ones had five-year limited warranties, so, yeah. When you know you're safe, trust Kitta. Um, you all listed, and that shows the response times there. Um, and, oh my god, it says right here, as you can see, um... It can be installed directly on the plug, a wall mount, or a tabletop unit. And, yep. as you can see right there, um, I'm trying to find out where it says COPB3 on this thing. Um, I think it says it on the front. Yeah, Kitta can COPB3. There you go. So, let's unbox this thing. It has an easy open clamshell. Unlike, unlike, unlike modern day clamshells, which are just which are, which are literally bogus to open. Alex's 3050 VDSC 10, we're looking at you. Yeah. Um here is the little cardboard insert that came with it. And here is the manual. As you can see, it says Nighthawk. Even smells like vintage paper. That's already a good sign. And we have the battery, the old 1997 battery. I'm actually gonna check that. Um, the battery is dated. Yeah, this is 1997. It has blue corrosion, so that's a good sign that this is completely original. Yep. And the alarm itself. It's a bit rattly due to the plug, but yeah. here it is. There's the front of the alarm. I'll have to clean out, clean off this little scraping that's on the front of it. But as you can see, yeah, probably just from storage. Yeah, probably just from storage. As you can see, the digital display is there. It's an eight segment display. Yep. Um, there's your test button, peak level, and the legendary blue piezo. On the back, yep. as you can see, um, uh, there's the serial number if you want to steal any information from me. But I don't think that really matters because the manufacturing date is um, July 29th, 1997. That's only one day off from my, from my Nana's birthday. Very, very nice. As you can see... This is where you um, slide down the battery compartment to insert the batteries. Or battery, I should say. 
And oh my god, this thing looks brand spanking new. The battery terminals look so clean. Dang. This thing must have been never used. Obviously, since it was in the clamshell. <laughs> that is true. So you know what? To commemorate this event, I will go ahead and put in a genuine Kitta battery. Let's go ahead and put this in and uh, hear it power up for the first time. Okay. There's the power up sound. Flip it over. And obviously it's not going to do anything because it's on low battery, but you could see it blinking. So let's go ahead and give this a test. Here we go. There. It does continuous. As you just heard, it did continuous. I'll do that again. The numbers flash, and it's just like a um, smoke alarm. You actually have to push and hold the test button. Yep. Which is something you usually don't see on regular CLPP3s. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this is the plug-in um, display. It has the plug-in right here. And then, of course, it has the little kickstand for tables, top use. And a little screw up there for wall mount use. Um, but yeah, I will go ahead and um, put the battery door back on. So you can actually see this. Because this is a very, very awesome unit in my opinion. Look at how beautiful yeah. that is. Mm -hmm. That is extremely beautiful. And it just chirped because it has a low battery in it. So... Let me just go ahead and take the battery out. Oh, this would be a perfect time to see if it has a dying sound. So let's see if this thing actually has a dying sound. All right, ready? In three, two, one. It has a dying sound. It sounds like a freaking monitor TR. Well, actually, it doesn't sound like a monitor TR. It sounds like a freaking... A 4120B being unplugged or something. But, yeah, as you can see, yeah, yep. that concludes the unboxing of my yep. first gen cool. CLPP3. Very, very nice. Yeah, um, j just be aware, um, the seller I got this on eBay from now has a duplicate listing up. That is completely fake. It used the same most image. Likely. Most likely. It used the almost the same image of this alarm that I just got. So it might be a fourth generation with the new logo, but um yeah. Yeah, that would be disgusting. Yeah, I'm currently I think I'm currently the second person to own this. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't know. Because Darren the Friendly I know has one and now I have one. They're pretty rare. They are very rare indeed. And I saw one of these at Walmart. I was going to spend my allowance on the one at Walmart, but I was like, um, the the rare one on eBay is still up. Why not just get that instead? Yep. So here it is in my possession right here. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Do you have anything to say, Jaden? No. Yep. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all later.